is up you guys welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel i'm Deja. what's good today as you see by the title i'm just going to be telling you guys the story of when i used tinder and why i never got on tinder again i'm gonna try to tell this story fast because the sun is going away so if the color starts changing a little bit or if i have to turn the lights on y'all know why so i'm gonna be telling you guys about the time when i decided that i wanted to use tinder and be bored and go scrolling so this was a while ago probably like almost two years ago now, I decided to download Tinder one of these bored lonely nights just to kind of see, like I was really just bored. So I'm on there scrolling, sc <coughs> voice. I'm on there scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And um, I come across this one little man's. Back then, you know, I was into little light skin dudes. Across this little light skin man. We're gonna name him Red because he was like a little red mom. I came across this little light skin man, so whatever, he was cute, you know, I swiped. Not sure which way you're supposed to swipe to um, match, but I swiped and it matched. So boom, bada bing. I didn't use Tinder, what Tinder was for. Like I was just trying to really make friends and like hang out and like get drunk for free with my other friends. So we were like, let's just go on Tinder. <laughs> so that's what we did and boom, I matched with this dude, Red. So in his pictures, he was like, um, let me get comfortable. <laughs> pictures, he was, um, you know, a very attractive little man um or else i would have swiped but yeah so he was cute or whatever but just know he had a couple pictures on his bio just said like his age where he lived where he from ba -da -da -da. right boom but he did not have his height and i look for height and i ask people their height because i feel like i'm very tall for a female i'm five seven is that very tall to some people but i'm five seven so i like to know the heights of people because you know i we go out and stuff i like to wear heels so you need to be yay high to ride this ride you feel me um i don't think i ever came across the question how tall he was though y'all gonna understand when we get further into the story so boom match with this dude we're talking da, da, da. we end up talking and texting and stuff like every day and then we started going into facetiming right so we'll facetime sometimes throughout the day but most of the time at night time not late late at night but like night time right and his reasoning for that was because he was sleep during the day but we would kind of text and stuff throughout the day here and there but he told me that he will sleep throughout the day because what he does for work um most of his customers and stuff is on the west the east coast so you know the time difference so he have to be up at night doing like business for them and working with them and stuff like that because of the time difference so and just on the phone and stuff just talking it was never really like anything sexual honestly it was just more so like of a friend and we just keeping each other company so that went on da -da -da. then we started getting into um we followed each other on instagram each other on instagram then we have each other on twitter which i didn't realize until after the fact but we followed each other on instagram snapchat you know all the social medias or whatever and i realized that he had a kid so he knew that i had a son we're going back and forth turns out he has a daughter his daughter is beautiful you guys so we started talking about that and then he was like oh yeah i think they were a year apart um, yeah the kids were a year apart and he was just telling me about his daughter he just had moved to vegas a couple months beforehand um and stuff like that and we were just talking text and turns out he didn't live too far from where i live neighborhood wise so we were just talking and he was telling me you know like he wants to play dates with the kids like we can come me and lady can come over to his house and in my head, I'm just like, mm, I don't let nobody be my son. He not coming, but I'm just going along, along with it. Like, yeah, that would be so fun. Keep everything that I'm saying in mind, okay? So he's like, yeah, you can come over to my house. The kids can have a play date. Da -da -da -da. We can just chill. Ba 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 ba. You know? So I'm like, yeah, that's cool. They go, no, my kid is not coming to you. But I honestly didn't care. Like I was like, okay, yeah, I'm down. Like I really would have thinking and just agreeing because half of me was like yeah i would have because like i don't really i'm not looking to you as relationship and like you know like we can hang out we can be friends you know the kids can play but the other half was like thinking oh my son don't meet no mans you know because i didn't know what could have came out of that situation and no like i'm not my son is not meeting anyone until i know for a fact like i'm really serious about you and you're going to be in my life and that's why my son has only met one man Aki, and he's in his life stepfather like, yeah! but yeah so that's just that so yeah he was just telling me like yeah you can come over and play with the kids da -da -da -da. And, I'm, and then it comes around to um i would say like two three weeks after our initial 
first like chat, text, FaceTime, stuff like that. So I would say like two, three weeks later um, comes around to the time where we're gonna meet each other for the first time. So my friend flew in to Vegas and we we're going out hanging out. So I told him like, oh, we're gonna be, um, you know, like out down on the strip at these casinos, da 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 da. If you wanna come, like you can come chill or we can go somewhere and chill. And he was like, but I was like, I am with my friend. And he was like, okay, cool. Like, um, how about I come get you guys and we'll go to this hookah lounge or go get some drinks and da 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 because he was older than I, I would say he was in his like 30s. Although he did look a good 24. Like he was cute. He looked a good 24, but he was a good 30, 31 ish, 32, not mistaken. But he was up there, but he didn't look that old. I remember that. So Red's like, okay, I'm gonna come get y'all. Da da da. So me and my friend hanging out at the casinos, getting a little lit. Throughout the night, me and him are texting back and forth. Um, we FaceTime call because he was really into like, gambling and stuff so we were at the casinos gambling and he was like low-key on the phone teaching me how to like play certain tables or whatever right he's like okay i'm gonna come get you let me know what hotel you at we was at the cosmo so he was like okay i'm pulling around to the front he pulls up for whatever nice little car i don't know what it is i don't know cars but my friend notices that he has a baby car seat in his car right it was fine i already knew he had a kid i don't think she knew i didn't tell him but like i'm not really like like he got a kid okay so he had his baby car seat in the car so you can tell it's like a family car but looking more into it it was kind of like a mommy car okay so i'm like looking around but i'm kind of lit i'm not really taking that into consideration although after the fact i was like mm, makes sense so i'm not really taking it into consideration but i'm like okay noted but my friend noted 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 that but okay <laughs> Energy wise, he was great. Like it wasn't weird. Like the vibes weren't weird at all. We were all just chilling. Me and my friend already lit. So we get in the car and it was kind of like we knew him already. Like my friend in the back seat, leaning over the driver's seat, talking to him. Like it was really fun. So we drive to this one hookah lounge. I've never been, I honestly don't know the name, but it's one on the strip that's like very big, I guess. And this would be the first red flag. Actually the second, cause the car was probably the first. I just was not in my right state of mind to note it at that moment. But probably second red flag, so. Um, we pull up to this hookah lounge. I feel like I'm just on FaceTime with y'all. I'm back to the story. So, uh, yeah, we pull up to this hookah lounge, right? And why this mother... Hold on. Mm, he can wait. So, we pull up to this hookah lounge. And why this mother... Red, like, run in real fast and see if we can get a table. Because, like, it's normally booked, right? And I'm thinking, like, why you can't run in? Like, you the man in this situation. You know I'm a little drunk. Why you can't get out and run in? So I'm like, okay. I get out the car, run in real fast. But uh, they sold out, blah, blah, blah. So we didn't end up going to the um, casino. Did he drop me off at home? I don't remember. But we didn't. No, no, I don't think he did. I don't think he knew where I lived. I think my friend's friends was out here. So we just met back up at the strip. I have no idea where we went after this, but I know for a fact we didn't end up going there. So we was just vibing and stuff. And I, I think he did drop us back off somewhere at the strip. And then that was that, right? So we get back we're to wherever we are. I'm just at the strip. I really believe that we were at the strip. So we get back to the strip and my friend's talking to me and she like, he seemed little. And I said, what you mean? And she was like, and that seemed like an inch car. And I'm like, what you talking about? And she like, that was like a whole mommy bo meal. And I was like, it probably was, but like, I wasn't really paying attention because I know his interior was red and it was real nice. But I wasn't in the back seat looking at all the details like she was. So I really didn't know. Like I was in my zone, the, the music was playing, I was just bobbing, you know? So she was like, oh, it seems like a mommy mobile, blah, 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 blah. And then she's like, and he seemed little. Like the car was kind of like an SUV type of thing. I don't know what, what type of car it was, but it was like a truck version or whatever. And she was like, he seemed kind of little. And although like I did look over at him cause I hugged him and stuff and he was just a little skinny, you know, I didn't think like how tall is he, right? Because I don't know if his chair was lifted or what. But like I said, I'm 5'7", and I, I don't know why, but I normally ask people how tall they are. But I guess I didn't. And no, this whole story is not about him being the height that I didn't want him to be is why I'm not messing with Tinder dudes. This is what comes after the back. You know, that was one occasion. And then after that, 
We talked, we FaceTimed, still normal. Like, one time he done sent me some money to go drink with my friends. Like, he was just, I looked at him as a friend. Like, it wasn't like a, ooh, this gonna be my man's, right? It was just somebody that was on my phone entertaining me, basically. You know? To one day, I remember specifically, um, he was talking again about meeting up for the kids to like have a play date Like he really wanted us to come to his house and hang out. He's telling me like, oh, yeah Y'all can come here blah blah blah. We can do this. We can do that. And I'm like, okay, cool We're sitting there um, talking and I'm getting ready to start doing nails, right? So I had to tell him like hold on because I got to go get this stuff for my nails So I'm getting the stuff and I was just gonna do my own nails, right? So I'm sitting there about to start doing my own nails I said something about the mom being strong and I was like let me crack the window so my whole house don't smell like this stuff right and he was like is that that purple stuff and I was like yes and in my head I'm just like okay maybe he's seen like people at the nail shop using it and he was like it threw me off when he said this so he was like man I already know what you talking about my girl be having a whole house smell like that purple stuff and I was like what? Excuse me? What came out saying? You ain't gonna just skirt past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Like, yo girl be having a whole house smell like this? So I'm like, oh, your girl? He's like, yeah, my daughter is mom. And I was like, oh, y'all live together? What? <laughs> That's so crazy. Like, that is so crazy because where is this girl? Why does this always happen to me? Anyways, I'm like, where is this girl at when you're on my phone all day, when you're calling and FaceTiming me? So then it just got me into thinking like, why you want me to come over your house so bad? And y'all like a whole family, like, then I started speculating that they want me to be like the third, right? And I'm like, so y'all about that lifestyle? Or is this like an open relationship? Or is it just friends? Like if it's friends, it's fine. Um, but I'm confused. Like, I'm really confused. Where is this going here, sir? So he's just talking and talking, and I'm still stuck on the fact that he just tried to run past that. Like, he didn't just say what he just said. And it's like, oh, my girl be having a whole house smell like that purple stuff. And I'm like, the monomer? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, the monomer. And I'm like, yeah. I really wasn't hurt like I'm just being funny. I really wasn't hurt cuz like I said I wasn't looking to this man as baby father number three <laughs> Yeah, like I wasn't looking at him like boyfriend But like I was just really confused like your girl know that you be on my phone She okay with you having female friends cuz I like if that's the case we just you know friends he be trying to slide a little flirtation here and there, but no, it don't be going nowhere. Do not pass go. So, that was that situation. Then it comes time to one day, me and my friends, we out on the strip, chilling, right? Cause we were supposed to meet up with my other friends, homies. He's all waiting for them. We're out on the strip, you know, blah, blah, blah. He tells me that his brother's flying in from wherever his brother was from, okay? So we're talking, da -da -da. he's like, oh yeah, my brother flying in today, blah, blah, blah. We just gonna hit some casinos, da, da 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 I see his brother on Snapchat, well on his Snapchat, he posted him on his Snapchat. So I see his brother on Snapchat and I'm like, oh, his brother got a cute. <laughs> and I show my friend like, his brother kind of cute, his brother got face tats and all that. I was like, oh, his brother kind of cute, the light skinned man. So my friend, she was like, oh, he is cute. But he looked little, and I, she was like, oh, he is cute like, to find out where they gonna be and we can meet up with them, right? So I'm like, okay, boom, like, let's get this going. Um, You know, I'm gonna finally be able to see him a whole outside of his car, right? I'm telling him like, oh, okay, yeah, we gonna be out on the strip too. Like, maybe we can all meet up and like just chill, get a little drinks, whatever, whatever. And he's like, okay, yeah, that sounds cool. So time goes on, the day gets a little later, um, and he calls me like, oh, we're at this casino, come meet me here. So we going back and forth with each other, trying to meet up with each other. I'm a little lit, uh, my friends is lit. So we all like, what casino are you in? We gonna be there? <laughs> First of all, 
of all, I sculpted out his brother first, right? Because his brother was at this table and he was yelling and gambling and losing his money. So he was hot over there. So I spotted him out first and I'm like, oh yeah, I see your brother. But he was walking like a different direction thinking we was coming from one entrance when we came in from the back. So he was like, I was like, oh, I see your brother. Like I'm on the table with your brother. He's like, oh, okay, I'm about to come. He's telling me that's his younger brother, right? So I'm like, okay, I'm walking up and the brother getting smaller and smaller as I approach. Um, like I said, I'm 5'7". Um, one of my other friends, she like 5'9". My other friend like 5'6". So you know, we all like stallions over here. <laughs> so we walk up and his brother a good like five, five and a half, five, six. You know, cause he was like at least as tall as my other friend. So he like a good five and a half, five, six, right? I wasn't minding it. But then when I seen his brother, I was like, oh no, this man is going to be little. Because I remember my friend saying he looked real little in his car and I did not believe her. But when we walked up to the brother, my friend that was with me that day, she looked at me like, where your man's at? Cause he little. <laughs> And I was like, oh no, I don't want him to be little. But then, you know, like I already found out he had a girl and all this other stuff, like they one big happy family or supposedly or whatever. So I wasn't even tripping off that. Like, we just gonna be friends. <laughs> but I was bamboozled. I already found it really weird how like, you was basically trying to make me the third in your relationship because I, for sure that's where it was going after we had met up and like the vibe he was giving off wasn't like oh I just want to be your friend so let me just keep talking I'm sitting here talking like oh yeah I'm meeting your like your brother's right here we're at the table with your brother hang up whatever he's walking towards me and I peep out of the side of my eye and this little man this old little man is a good five three five four on a good day and five five when he got his Jordans on. But I'm pretty sure that man was a good five three. And I looked at him like, what's up friend? Like at that point it was like, what's up friend? Come here, you little guy. And it was so funny cause my friend made a little remark like, oh my God, your shoes are so small. And he did look like he wore like a size five and, and man, kids. I don't know, but I just know that he was little, y'all. Like, he was really little. And, like, we hung out that day or whatever um, before um, we had met up with my friends, friends or whatever. Ooh, that day. I don't want to do a story time about that. Y'all gonna have to wait about a year or two. <laughs> but yeah, so we met up with my friends, friends or whatever. Um, you know, we hung out with him and his brother for a little bit. We got to learn a lot about him and his life and his brother was a real P.I.U.B. He was putting his own game. Like he was really like doing the damn thing. And I was like, oh my God, I am so amazed. Like I've never met one in person. <laughs> but he was, he was real deal, like real deal. Like they were really cool people. Um, it was just shocking me how little this man was because in his pictures, he didn't look that small, although he didn't look that small because I specifically remember he had this one picture standing in front of the sink. And you know, like that's how I normally could tell like how tall you are because if you like, if you like torso level with the sink, you little. But some sinks be little because in this picture, his sink came up to like his thighs. So I can see his torso. So maybe his sink was just small. Or not maybe, that's really what it is. He just had a little sink. That's what happened. We were still cool. Um, you know, after that day, you know, we still talked, texted on the phone, FaceTimed. Um, I really just looked at him as a friend after that, like for sure. I was talking to my friends about the whole situation and we just all came to the conclusion that it was really either open relationship or like they were trying to bring me into their relationship and I just was not down. Like y'all really trying to have a blended family and I don't want to be blended with y'all. Like I said, we followed each other on everything. Um, Twitter, I realized he had me on Twitter because he was liking my tweets one day and I was like, wow, you found my Twitter. But Twitter, what? Instagram, Snapchat, phone, all that. We have each other on everything. I'm tweeting, you know, a little lit. Um, and we had been FaceTiming, right? That night, I remember. We was FaceTiming, blah, 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 kiki he was sending me money for drinks, like I said. Um, you know, just having a good old time. And he was like, oh, when you get back to Vegas, cause I was in LA at that time. So he was like, oh, when you get back to Vegas, like I'm gonna take you out. We're gonna go here, here, and here, get a little lit. I'm like, okay, friend, cool friend, great friend. I like that friend, you know? I get off the phone with him or whatever and I'm just talking, I'm getting a little lit. And me and my friends are having a conversation about like, 
men and they heights and all this other stuff, right? So I tweet on my Twitter like, I said something along the lines of like, if you under six feet, you automatically a friend. Like something like that, right? And I think his old little ass took that to heart. And um, after I tweeted that, he blocked me on everything. <laughs> He blocked me on everything. And that's just what it was. I think he got his little feelings hurt when boy, I wasn't even talking about you. You just so happened to fit the sh little shoe. <laughs> I was not talking about you, sir. So yeah, um, that was a story about the my first Tinder interaction. And I never even got on Tinder after that. Like I was not swiping. Um, I never met up with anybody else from Tinder. Like, no, okay. No, that was one time and one time only and I did not like my experience and he got his feelings hurt When I really wasn't even talking about him. It was just in general like if you're under that's how I knew He didn't just want to be my friend cuz you wouldn't have took that to heart If we was homies home skillet biscuits. That's how I knew he was trying to make me a third in his position shit <laughs> They was probably gonna try to move me in honey. Oh my god. They was gonna want me our kids to be brothers and sisters. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> that's basically my Tinder experience. And no, I'm not getting back on Tinder. I don't need to get back on Tinder. I don't found my husband, y'all. So yeah, if you enjoyed the story, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Let me know if you're on Tinder, have used Tinder, or are still on Tinder, you little nasty. Let me know down below. And on that note, I love you guys. Bye.